welcome to a brand new Clash Royale video. My name is Micah, aka Ducky, and today I'll be showing you my favorite decks that you can unlock in Pekka's Playhouse and below. So this one is a main deck with the uh, Hog and the Bomber for the beginning, and then when it gets into Double Elixir, you can start throwing the Pekka in, and then it has the Tombstone, the Inferno Tower, Skeletons, and Knight for defense. And then arrows just in case they have a minion horde or something like that. And then I also have a lava loon deck that I'll be using after that. With still only cards that you can find there. And I also have a bunch of chests saved up. I did tell my clan that I was going to film. So some of them are probably going to watch one or two of my battles. I'll quickly open up some chests. So far nothing good. Oh yeah and I forgot to mention I did get the lava hound in the the uh night witch draft challenge i kept doing that again and again and eventually i got a legendary in one of the chests so i'm super happy about that the highest i got was eight wins and i did blow all my gems so i have like none left but that doesn't really matter too much i'll also go ahead and open this clan chest 829 gold 30 cannons 36 archers 57 skeletons a rage spell and 14 pumps so not the greatest I'll take any cards because as soon as I can get some of my commons maxed out, which none of them are close except for maybe my fire spirits, which are my only level 10, I think. Yeah, those are my only level 10, and I have one or two level 7 rares, and then most of my epics are level 3, my bowler is still only level 1, but without any more delay, let's hop into our very first battle. So we're up against Fami D from Smash Bros. Good luck and a thumbs up to him. And we're actually going to start off right away with the Lava Hound in the back. Ouch. So that Lumberjack's going to get a massive amount of damage. And so is that Hog. Because we did, had mostly air stuff. So he's going to almost take out our entire tower. But now we do have a balloon to go up. And hopefully we can get arrows in as quickly as possible. Ooh, we won't get that princess. And the balloon won't even make it there. My goodness. So that was a huge fail. And now we have to get rid of that princess. I'm going to use my air troops because I don't want to use any more ground troops. And he's going to take that tower. So not a very good start because we don't have a great counter to the lumberjack. And because we couldn't get our arrows up fast enough, he completely destroyed all of our stuff. So hopefully the whole battle isn't like this or even the whole video because it's never interesting to watch someone lose a gazillion times. Tombstone to distract the hog. We took a little bit less damage, but he can zap our minions, which is super annoying. And the hog will get two swings. Now I'm going to throw a balloon and get ready for my arrows. Arrow down those minions. Oh my goodness. My arrows can't even kill them. Because he has level 12 minions. Okay, this is crazy. We, we already lost. I know we lost this because we can't even arrow his minions. So there isn't much we can do. Because our arrows are level 9, which is a decent level. But he has level 12 minions for only a level 10 player. So... I don't know if he spent a lot of money or what, because that's a crazy amount for only a level 10 player. And I'll get a Mega Minion. Hopefully my Mega Minion can one-shot them. I'll get Spear Gobs up there too. And get arrows ready. Okay, I'm going to arrow that princess. And because we can't kill the minions, they will survive and take out everything else, so... This is kind of dumb. Our knight won't even make it to the tower. I'll make the hog go for the higher health one. And then get a mega minion to hopefully stop it. Okay, the hog will get one swing. But now I'll go balloon. And then spear goblins. And then get ready for arrows. Ooh. Okay, now the balloon's going to get nowhere close. So we got absolutely crushed by this guy. 
he almost destroyed our crown tower and we couldn't even kill one of his towers because his minion horde was super OP. He is either almost level 11 or all he's been upgrading for his entire clash history were those minion hordes because that is just crazy. Oops, I meant to hit good luck there. Good luck and a thumbs up to Fur from Clash Drenal. And I'll go with the knight in the back. And he has a giant skeleton, so I'm going to wait a bit and then get a tombstone out. And he's going to rocket our knight. Interesting play. And I'll go minions, and that should clear up the giant skeleton pretty easily. Yep. With the skeletons just swarming in on that giant skeleton. He got nowhere close to our tower. And now I'm going to go with the balloon on that right side. I get my arrows ready for minions. Okay, level 10 minion horde. Not bad. He's going to do a goblin barrel on my tombstone. Interesting play. I thought he was going to go for my tower, but... If he wants to waste the elixir to take down that, I'll definitely let him go ahead and do that. The wizard will take care of my knight pretty easily because it is a pretty decent damage unit. And I'll get a tombstone out now because he's probably going to try and get a giant skeleton in front of that. Or a balloon. But my mega minion should clear that up really easily. And the balloon will take out the tombstone. But that's completely fine. The death damage will hit my tower though. So it is pretty much even. And I'll go with... Actually, no, I'm going to save my Lava Hound. Oh my goodness. Go with the balloon there. Get some minions and get arrows ready for minion horde. Ooh, he's just going to rock it. I was going to do a pre-arrow and try and see if I could get them in there as soon as he placed them. But he decided to go with a rocket instead, which was a pretty smart play because he knew I had arrows. And now I'll just wait for a bit. Okay, so he has a P.E.K.K.A. as well. I'll go with the Tombstone and a Knight there. And then I'll go with the Quick Balloon, cycle with the Spear Goblins and get arrows ready. And the Balloon might make it. Hopefully it does. Yeah, no, it won't. So that kind of stinks. It won't make it there. But the balloon will get distracted, and I'll distract it again with another tombstone. Hopefully it can hit my tower. Ooh, it might actually work. And, okay, nope. He's just going to destroy that tower. So I'll have to go really heavy on that side. Okay, he's probably just going to three crown us, because... We just let everything get to our tower. I thought the balloon on the tower would work. We did get it there and activated our king tower, which worked pretty well, but then his giant skeleton and P.E.K.K.A. came in and completely destroyed us. And because this is a Lava Loon deck, we don't have much for ground defense, so he took us out. So... Have I done two battles with, deck, with this deck? Okay, I guess I'll go with this P.E.K.K.A. Hog deck see if I can get some success with this. So we have a pretty decent starting hand. I'm going to go with the knight in the back. And wait to see what he is. Okay, he is a giant. So I'm going to go hog rider, bomber. To make him play something on that side. His inferno tower isn't going to distract. So I will get a few hits with the bomber and one swing or two with that the hog rider I am going to need an inferno tower there and I'll distract that mega minion for a bit that will clear everything pretty easily this mega minion will take out that and I'll play in uh, okay I was hopefully gonna, I was hoping to distract that mega minion but now I'm going to go with the bomber to kill that princess and hopefully take care of that ice wizard yes it will so not a bad start we do have some pretty good damage on the left tower but now that we know he has the inferno tower we'll have to be a bit more careful with that 
because our P.E.K.K.A. will get shredded by it. And I'll go with another Hog Rider. He's probably just going to do Inferno Tower, but I'll get arrows ready anyways. Yep, he's just going to go with an Inferno Tower. So I'm going to do the same. And hopefully we can take care of that. The Mega Minion isn't going to cross the bridge first. So I will have to do some skeletons to distract that. And a knight. And the knight's also going to take care of that princess. So now we can go with a P.E.K.K.A. And I'll save for a bit and get a hog going at the other side. He's probably going to play an Inferno Tower against that P.E.K.K.A. Yep. So now my hog's going to make it there really easily. And we did get some pretty good damage on the left tower. The right tower took a little bit, but not as much as we would have liked. I'm going to wait for that Mega Minion to get a bit closer. And then do an Inferno Tower. It worked out perfectly. I'll do Skeletons to kill off that the Ice Wizard. But his Giant will make it to the tower because he fireballed all my stuff. And my Bomber hopefully can kill all that stuff over there. Yes, it will. So now it's almost even. I'm going to have to go really hard on the left tower. He's just going to keep fireballing. And my hog will make it there. And that should be game unless something crazy happens. Yep. I'll get a P.E.K.K.A on the left tower. A right tower, I mean. So we did get a victory with this deck. It was a bit close, but if it did go into overtime, we did have the upper hand. Because P.E.K.K.A in Deadly Elixir is super crucial. And is really hard to stop if you have something behind it so let's go ahead and get into our very last battle and hopefully we can pick up another win because I am trying to trophy push to hog mountain and I'll do a video about that a bit later but I want to keep leveling up my heal spell because right now at the level it is I don't want to use it much because it just isn't as effective as it should be and so this guy has another level of Another 11, 11 card. So he has like, it looks like a different version of a hog trifecta, like without the hog. So it's just a trifecta deck. He will fireball my bomber, so my inferno tower will survive. And I think that was might have been a positive trade for for me. I spent three, eight, nine, and he spent uh, a little bit more than nine, I think. I can't really do the math while I'm trying to pay attention. I'll pre-arrows. Won't hit anything because he smartly waited for that. So now I'm going to go with the knight to distract a bunch of those. And then a tombstone because I don't want to take too much damage. And more skeletons. So he will get pretty good damage on the left side with that musketeer. But my bomber should be, t should be able to take care of that. As well as the princess. So... Not a great start. I have to watch out for the minion horde because we don't have anything besides the arrows that can hit it. So, well, besides the inferno tower, but that's terrible. So I will have to be a bit more careful when I'm using my P.E.K.K.A. And now I'll go with the hog and get arrows ready, but don't use them. Okay, he's going to go with the Valkyrie this time. So I'll wait. Arrows that... And then get another Inferno Tower ready for that Valkyrie. And if he decides to play anything else, it'll get taken down by the Inferno Tower. So I won't have to waste any more Elixir. And that Knight might get one or two hits, but that's completely fine. I'll do Skeletons to kill the Princess. Oh, I was saying with full Elixir. That was a pretty stupid mistake. But now that he doesn't have Minion Horde... I'm going to go with all that and then do a hog rider in the middle so it can jump because I thought he might have an inferno tower there. It will kill my, my, uh, oh my goodness, I'm terrible with names. My P.E.K.K.A. though. And I'll go with another inferno tower and a knight to kill that and skeletons just in case my knight can't take care of it. Okay, I know he's going to do a Valkyrie. I'll do a bomber in the back because I know my Inferno Tower will be able to take care of all that. And I'll do a Hog Rider in the middle with a Tombstone to hopefully distract if he does an Inferno Tower. No, he isn't. I'm actually not going to arrows that. Oh! 
Oh no. Okay, so my bomber did get targeted and it was able to get off one shot. So I think he only needs one more fireball to win this. I'll arrow that as quickly as I can, but they completely destroyed my P.E.K.K.A. So I'm just going to have to go really defensive and not let that princess get to our tower again. Because if we do, we are definitely going to lose. The Hog Rider will get three hits on that tower. So it's actually becoming a really close game. I'm going to have to arrow that princess now. Oh, and he's just going to fireball and win that one. So it actually came really close after I got my Hog Rider to the tower. But with that fireball, he was able to clean us up. So we were able to pick up the win. Sorry about that. And I'm also going to put a link to a channel in the description of a guy who really liked my videos. And so I'm just going to support him. He also does Clash Clans videos and maybe Clash Rail. I'm not completely sure, but I know he does do Clash of Clans. So feel free to check out his channel. He has some really nice videos. He's also a brand new YouTuber just like me. But anyways, thanks for watching and see you next time.